So one thing we can do in this case is if you guys remember, um, if I have like a fraction uh, m over n raised to the negative one first power, that's the same thing as sorry, n over m, basically using the reciprocal. Because if you were to place this as m to the negative first, n to the negative first, well, then you would just reciprocate both of them. So what we can do in this case is I can rewrite this as a negative exponent f of t equals t minus 3. You could put it over 1 to the negative second power, but we really don't need to put the over 1. So we can just place it in there. Now we can go and take a look at our inside outside functions. I'm not going to use f of x because this, or f of t because this one's labeled f of t, so I'm going to use h of t as my outside, which is um, t squared. And then I'll use g of t, which would be my inside which you can say is t minus 3, h prime of t equals 2t, and g prime of t equals 1. I'm sorry, that's a negative 2. Thank you. Uh, that's t to the negative second power. Thank you. So therefore, that's a negative 2, t to the negative third power. Correct. Thank you. So now, um, to evaluate my derivative using the chain rule. I'm basically going to use my um, h of uh, h prime of t um, and then insert g of t and then to g of t and then times. So it looks something like this. And then times that by g of t, which is just 1. Well, obviously, that's a negative exponent, so I can rewrite that below. So f prime of t equals a negative 2 over t minus 3. So remember, feel free to manipulate the equations 